Um, yeah, so I just I just devoured them. And like when I read them back now, I'm like, oh no, like these are terrible. Like it's borderline rape a lot of the time and and uh, like like men are always forcing women to marry them and and like they're always fighting and a lot of times it seems like like the man really hates the woman until the very end when he reveals that he's been telling her he loves her with his body the whole time and i'm like i'm sure like reading that as a young teen was like people would be like oh please don't like please don't read that and think that that's how relationships are that's how sex is um, so I feel like it's kind of the same with when people are concerned about comics, where they're like, okay, like, but do the readers of this, and especially the young readers of this, understand um, how this how this, how this differs from reality? Like, like is this going to give them like sort of sort of wrong expectations about the world or about the relationships? And and and, and I think I think comics comics get a lot of brunt of that because. Uh, uh, there are so there many, are so many universal, universal applications, applications like, and, and, and especially and especially in the genre genre, genre where they're, they're like a deputy like feature, like feature films, films that are meant for everyone, for everyone. and they're just like I don't know, you just, I don't know, want, you just want you just want people, just want people to get the best, to get the best. Like, you, you want, want people to like be disappointed, be disappointed. You like you don't want like men to be like oh a woman isn't just a sex doll that needs to eat like um one of the other things I was thinking about where it's like when I was talking about canon, it was like what the word I used was like the woman is objectified. Like she's a sex object in canon. Um, she exists only to have sex with the man. Like she doesn't have any wants or, or needs of her own really. Um, thankfully in canon, at least they seem to like want to and like initiate and, and like so I, I like that aspect of it. Or, I don't know, I guess I'm just like, I'm not mad about canon. I'm like, it is what it is. Like, uh, but why is objectification bad? I was reading some of the commentary where, like, like someone is like, well, what's wrong with that? Like, what's, what's wrong? What's wrong with that? And so it's like, what's wrong with that is that when you objectify someone or something, uh, it dehumanizes. object to the person and they're not a fully realized person with wants and needs of their own and it's fine to have an objectified character in a comic book like that's not the problem the problem is is that there's like all this other stuff going on in society where it's like um domestic you know it's like domestic violence and and like every day in america three women are murdered by their intimate partner and it's like Oh yeah, like that kind of stuff is like pretty rough and comic books are an easy place to to like point the finger to be like, yes, yeah, see? It's like it's this kind of media that's caused that contributes to that. And and it's like maybe maybe not. It's hard to tell. Um so yeah, this is a really long-winded way of saying I see both sides of it where it's like I can understand why someone would look at comics and be like, ooh, this could be kind of problematic. And also where fans of comics can defend it and be like, this is a fantasy. It's not meant to be real life. It's meant to be escapist entertainment. I guess I just wish, wish it's like, it, it's sometimes people defend comics in a really defensive way to like deny that, that it's even true. And I'm like, look at canon. Look, it's like, it's the exact thing. Um, it's just like, I wish it, I, I wish like in America, it, it just seems like if anyone, like, it's like there's this idea that if you admit to any flaw, like somehow you've, you've lost and like you, I don't know, you have to like give all your gold to your opponent or something like it's, it's like that dire to even like acknowledge that, that something has some element that is problematic and and people in defense of their media can be really horrible like um like uh I, I feel like i alluded to this earlier but um like gamergate when people were like hey so it kind of seems like in video games like sometimes the depiction of women minorities uh the lgbtq LGBTQAI plus or again I will say it forever it's a lot easier to rearrange that and say quilt bag um, and then like like people have really defended video games to be like well you know it's like 
it's a particular thing and it's for men and it's like like people when you get mad like they use that so it's like I don't know it's like it, it left I think I mean I watched a lot of it happen on reddit uh, where it's like Gamergate and, and Gamergazi and like like whole subreddits were formed Kotaku in action and like like it's just like as if somehow yeah and people took advantage of that rage and like used it to their own ends and so it's just sort of like wow okay like you guys are taking this super serious and I think the thing is is that it's like you have to give space for men's fantasy escapist entertainment and but men also have to realize that like comic books are a medium um they're not reserved exclusively for one type of person or one type of fantasy uh i do think it's interesting and, and i think it's something to like look into more but it's like i feel like in in japan which also has a really rich and long history of comic book culture and manga is that it's like it's like it didn't go that way uh it didn't like turn into something that was mostly targeted towards men instead it was um you know it's like you know it's like things that were targeted towards men and women and women and it's like they have a robust um market marketplace place for like uh, shoujo, uh, shoujo manga, manga, which is for, is, is targeted targeted towards girls, girls and like magic like manga, manga. Like, like like I don't think I don't know like, why did that, that happen in the United, United States. States. Uh, like like I know, I know there, there were um love love comics, comics like, that were like romance comics, comics and I would I would have been into that. But yeah, I would I have to look at them more. I know that the romance comics was like was like looking for comics that were drawn by women and it's it's. In, in, you know, in, you know, in sort of this era, and I'm like, oh, well, maybe the ones that were marketed towards women were drawn by women. Nope. Drawn by men. Um, yeah, I, so yeah, I don't know what the difference was, but that here in the United States it didn't take off, and then in Japan it did. But thank goodness, because I like a lot of Japanese manga. I mean, I still like a good romance. Um, I like a good superhero story, but I also like a good romance. Ooh, this face. I'm like avoiding the eyes because I don't want to deal with them. I'm focusing on this section of it. I feel like in the description I wrote that like water is a part of it. And I was like, oh yeah, that's why I, I had initially been drawn to this strip because I, I love the ocean and I want to learn how to draw water better. And then I've been spending all this time on like these guys' faces. But that's probably a good thing because like faces are really important as I say again and again and again um, yeah so I don't know I don't know what the solution is uh, I think comic books would have an easier time of it if it if like media representation was more balanced overall uh, or if it yeah I don't know I, I feel like we're in a time where like a lot of women creators are, are getting out there and I think it, it's sort of there's this like theory of of the law of small numbers so it's like only a certain number of works are, are gonna like last and they're only there's only a certain number like the history can only hold like a certain number of um, stories that that come that that come forward in time and uh you know it's like because for so much of history only men had ac or men had more access to um avenues of publishing and popularity there's there's like we live in a world where where most classic works in comics are by men and, and i'm hoping that as women like are able to draw more and women and and non-binary and, and you know sort of like the whole spectrum of 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 gender uh as as they're you know sort of drawing and writing and creating like in time there will be more um but it just takes time to like create those characters and create those situations that that become iconic uh so yeah I, and it, it might take like 50 years for like things to even out um I could I could maybe be alive then. I'd be like 90. 
I'd love to see it. Because um, it's certainly... I hope it's possible. Huh, now I'm thinking Margaret Atwood again. I really didn't like Oryx and Crake. I was just so like, oh, this is the worst. Um, I don't recommend it. And I, I'm like, I don't know. I find At Margaret Atwood just smarmy. But everybody loves like Handmaid's Tale, so what you gonna do? Also, one of the things that, that um, I was like looking up comic sales, I was like trying to figure out like the market for comics. And, and there, there was this uh, article on io9 that was like kind of like rebutting all the arguments that say comics aren't sexist. And one of the, one of the points they made was that uh, women made up 47% of the comic book market. And I was like, is that true? Um, and then I was like reading a response thread on Reddit that was like, that's not true. Um, DC, when they release their sales numbers, it's like uh, something like 93% of comics are sold to men. And then people were like, well, it's actually really hard to like know. And the 47% the number comes from like a survey that just said, do you like comic books or like something like that? I'd have, you know, I could look it up, but I don't. That's why I'm lazy and do live streams instead of podcasts that require editing and work. Um, but it's sort of like, how many women really are reading comics? And it's like, it wouldn't surprise me if it was mostly men, because if it's a male fantasy, like expression of a male fantasy. Like, yes, of course men would read that. Also, what's going on with this guy's hand? I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's just like a shadow. Ugh, we don't have time. We'll just keep going. And it's like, yeah, if, if comics are like presenting a male fantasy, yes, it makes total sense. It'd be like if someone was like, yes, 40% of the readers of romance novels are men. I'd be like, what? That's crazy. Ugh, that's bananas. Um, like, why would, like, this is like obviously targeted towards ladies um, or people like lady identifying i mean i don't want to judge like if you read romance novels and you're a dude or a non-binary person or you know sort of however you like choose to name yourself like that's great like i'm all for it i love the genre um oh gosh where was i going with that talking about romance novels like oh yeah like readership uh and then i was like well you know is it is it working like is it working to have like to sell this men's fantasy and so i was like looking up sales numbers for comics and um they, they seem to be like slightly declining but it's not because uh my opinion with a grain of salt but from what i read it seems like pricing is more the problem rather than the stories um in that like you have to pay like $3.99 for like a 15 page comic book that you can read in 10 minutes and like that's that's like a, that's a tough ask because uh, you can get a lot of things for $3.99 that that will entertain you for a lot longer than that uh, like you can rent a movie from Redbox or you know you know Redbox is a, a video rental service in the United States um, yeah so it's like it's like it, it's hard to say if, if like only catering towards men like if, like, if eventually, eventually they'll, they'll have, have to, to cater to other audiences. Other audiences. And then, and then, then they kind of do. Like, it's, it's not like it's not like comics aren't changing. changing but, um, I, would um, I would need to see men, men identifying, identifying who enjoy, enjoy comic because, because of the you know, male, male centric of it. Like I would need to see them that outlet. Like I respect that. I respect that everybody needs some escapist entertainment. I think something that is kind of funny about comics is like I was looking up like the best selling comics from like a month like on a month to month basis and you know it's hard because like so many of the characters have been around for so long like like Batman at this point has like six kids which is like if you watch the movie Batman you know especially Christopher Nolan cinema Batman um, I always say it like that because like if you're like talking to a guy and they talk about Christopher Nolan, it's like, oh yes, well the Christopher Nolan Batman's, you know, sort of in this like 
oh yes aren't they wonderful and I'm like it's a Batman movie like let's not like go nuts here um oh man <laughs> I'm so sorry I keep like losing what I'm talking about um oh yeah it's like I don't I don't know like I don't know what the the future of it is I just like there are some stories that I'm like let's not ever do that again um like the one I talked about in my last live stream about the guys who killed their wives. Uh, but I just feel like, you know, let Power Girl have her boob window. Like, it's fine. Just like, maybe let a lady direct a movie every once in a while. Or if you're a lady, like, you can direct a movie. Like, don't let your ladiness or non-binariness or gender identity stop you. Like, just keep at it. Uh... Like, don't let the world tell you what you can't do. Although, like, there are things you can't do. Like, you can't fly. Sorry. And then someone, prove me wrong, kids. Prove me wrong. That's, like, a great line from The Simpsons. Where Principal Skinner is, like... Like, like someone's like, oh, think of the children's future. And, and Principal Skinner is like, we both know these children have no future. And then he's like, says it in front of all the kids. And he's like, walks it back. And he's like, prove me wrong, kids. Prove me wrong. And I was like, I laugh a lot at that. Um, yeah. I don't know. It, it is hard too. Cause it's like some escapist entertainment is like, if it involves like, like the serious fulfillment of like fantasies that are super harmful, it's like, Ooh, yeah. Like maybe we should talk about that, but I don't know. Adults are adults. Like, do what you want. Like, just maybe don't let the teenage boys read the hard stuff. Like, I could stop them. Teenage boys are unstoppable. Um, I'm kind of excited to get back to, like, young Prince Valiant. Like, the first strips that were posted. Because, like, they're such a kick. Like, he's... Like, I don't want to get too much into it. But, like, he's such a murder hobo. Like, he... Uh... Is, it is a different time. It is a different time. Boy, I did not get very far at all. But these guys, in in my defense, are very complex. Um, let's look at this. This Yeah, it's like this guy. There's something about his eye that is not great. And I don't know how to... Like, maybe if we just give him, like, a little more... This isn't how Mr. Foster drew it. But, like, I feel like it will give me a little bit more... Okay, let's go back. Yeah, I feel like these guys look alright. Um, I wish I'd gotten a little further. Like, Alita's expressions. I might do this just on my own. Without you. Uh, hypothetical listener. Alita's so pretty in these that I feel like I, I want to use like her face as reference. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not talking about the guys being handsome or anything. Because, like, look at this dude. Like, look at his mug. Wow. But she looks great. He is a villain, so he does not look great. <laughs> If you listen to me ramble about any of this, I thank you. I feel like maybe I'm going to listen to it back. Like, maybe the audio is good this time. Or, like, maybe it's as good as it's going to be. I found, like, some filters. It doesn't have any, like, crackly stuff. Um, yeah, I got music going. Uh, yeah, read comics. Read comics you like. And if someone says this comic isn't good because of this, be like, yeah, I could see how you could say that. Or I could see how you could think that. Like, that's all you have to say. I was like, don't worry about it. Um, comics are great, and you're great, hypothetical listener. Um, yeah, I will catch you guys later. Thanks so much for listening. I used to work in marketing, so I'm contractually obligated to say, like, comment and subscribe. Let me know if I did something, said something that was wrong. Let me know how you feel about comics. Um, I'd be happy to read those comments. Um, yeah, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. We're gonna, uh, I think... Boy, what am I going to do next time? Maybe I'll go back to Wallywood. Um, I also have like a Frank Franzetta piece that I think is really interesting. Um, maybe I'll just save Prince Valiant for Wednesdays. Um, but maybe we'll do Prince Valiant. Who knows? Whatever it is, I hope you join me.